Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Life Tree Music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on New York Bronx singer Dion. And through his song, The Wanderer, we looked at that very thing when we can't find a spot to rest. So I trust you found that one encouraging. Well, there's a bit of a uh, commonality with the theme today. Uh, Charles Whedon Westover was born in 1934 in Grand Rapids, Michigan in the US. Uh, musician, singer, songwriter, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee. The guy we're talking about is Del Shannon. Now, um, I don't know a lot about Del Shannon, but I know for one of my heroes, Jeff Lynn, ELO Genius, um, he's a major influence um, on him. And certainly one of Jeff's bands, The Travelling Wilburys, did a bit of a, uh, a tribute to Del Shannon and quoted one of the songs you've got to talk about. In fact, one of these songs, really, of the 60s, when you talk about Del Shannon. Uh, he started um, with the Moonlight Ramblers in 1958, but it was when he moved to New York uh, that Del Shannon got a bit of a career and started to generate some albums at that point. In fact, um, before not, uh, between 1961 and 1977, there were 15 studio albums and a stack of singles. Uh, unfortunately, Del left us in 1990 at the age of 55. Um, and I think the classic case of Del Shannon, he was always searching, always looking. Uh, and that searching and that looking was the thing that made this guy so compelling. An incredibly good guitarist, this guy, incredibly good singer. Um, in fact, there's some, he's got a pretty amazing range, this guy, and he has a bit of a, a, a bit of high stuff that he does. It's a bit of a trademark of his voice. Now, when you talk about Dan at Del Shannon, there's one song you need to talk about in particular, and this is song Run Away. Run, 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 run away. And with that incredible keyboard solo that's actually in the middle of it as well. Um, the song's all about, you know, why are you are going away? Why are you running away? I want you to stay with me. And this brings up a bit of an interesting uh, thing to that. That is, you know... When we are on the move and we're searching and we're looking um, and we're looking for the next thing and we're looking to try to find out where our home is, you know, and it doesn't always come. And it's almost like, hey, I'm just really looking for a place to belong and a place to be. And so we go from one thing to another and we, we, we try to find that, but it becomes elusive. If I just, you know, find that next group of friends, I'll be okay. Or if I find that next partner, I'll be okay. Um, but, you know, there's this endless um, endless desire for searching and for moving and, and for finding that thing when it may not actually happen. And one of the questions, of course, we should ask ourselves when we are in the midst of life change, and that is, how are we going? You know, if we are running to the next thing are we running away from the hard questions that we may need to ask ourselves are we running away from how we are going as a person are we running away from the questions those hard questions that we need to answer are we running away from getting help perhaps are we running away from um because to stay is just too hard wherever wrestlers ever wanting the next thing but, you know, perhaps the next thing is not running. Perhaps the next thing is staying and answering those hard questions. You know, it's interesting life, isn't it? You know, when things actually may not go so well, you're thinking, oh, man, I managed to get over this thing and I've got to move on to the next thing. Perhaps the more questions should be asked is, hey, what is my learnings right now? What is it that I need to learn from this experience? Maybe I need to sit with myself for a while and ask myself some really hard questions. Or perhaps it's the other way around. It's, it's your heart, yourself is actually going all right, but the other person who's kind of running away is, needs to come back and stop. Catch up with yourself. And it's a bit of a weird, weird thing to say here and say, hey, how are we going here? What are we actually looking for? Really, really interesting question, that one. 
You know, and I meet people, you know, they're looking for the next partner as the thing that's going to complete them. But maybe more the question is, who are you? Who am I? You know, who are we in this world? And, and what are, where have we come from and where are we going to? And so one of the things we can do is when we think, well, hey, I'm just, going to, I'm just going to wipe off that last bit of life and pretend it didn't happen because it was really, really hard. But you can't discount it. <laughs> Because if you try, something's going to creep up and you're going to think, oh, I thought I got over that thing. Well, I haven't. So, as I've said a few times now, the best thing we can do is to reconcile ourselves with the fact it did happen and learn how we can walk forward with it. So instead of just pretending like it didn't happen, acknowledge it's happened. Work out how it sits in your, in your current experience and walk forward as opposed to running forward. And while you're walking forward, by the way, you know, you get to notice the things that are happening around you. You know, you, you get to notice and, and just see what's going on. If you're running, you don't notice those things quite as much. So I think this awesome song from uh, Del Shannon today just gives us a chance and opportunity to do a pause and to have a think about where we come from and where we are right now. Instead of running forward, let's think about resting and seeing what life has, has for us right now. It might happen in come in, in the most unexpected places, so you know, um, it's always good to take stock of where we come from. And I think Del Shannon um, was very much someone who was always running, always searching, and always trying to find, and, and he never really got there. And I think uh, this is what kind of made his song so compelling. And I think the fact that he was able to bring a restlessness into his voice that enabled us to reflect and to think. And how fitting that he got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1999. Um, and then, of course, he wasn't around. It was a posthumous induction, that one. And his family accepted the award on his behalf. And the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends in 2005. So the best way to experience Del Shannon is actually to look at the clips below. So we do have Runaway, we've got to have that one. We've got a couple of clips, we've got one from 1961. Bearing in mind the 1950s had just finished and uh, he was um, coming off that and you know, music was finding its feet with this band called The Beatles and their flow and effect from, to, to all around the world in the US as well. So we've got a live timeless studio version from the early 1960s and we've got a live version from 1982. So it's pretty, pretty cool uh, to see an absolutely live version of Del Shannon. This guy was pretty amazing on the guitar. Um, in, the, in the live version, he talks about the writing of this song and as he was looking for some different chords in A minor and G, just happened to be the chords that would bring this song to life. So a live version from 1982. Now, as I mentioned about Jeff Lynn and the influence this guy had on him, uh, we do have a live version from Jeff Lynn himself. Now, this is a pretty amazing video right here. We've got Tom Petty and Jeff Lynn. Of course, they're, they're good mates, or Tom's no longer with us, unfortunately, but they're good mates. Of course, the Travelling World Breeze uh, were a bit of a thing as well. They recorded Runaway as a bit of a tribute to Dill Shannon. And... Um, and it's good to see Jeff Lynn um, doing a live cover of Runaway from Del Shannon. Um, so it's pretty amazing footage, that one. I think it's a bit of a fan with a video camera. So that's pretty, pretty cool. We've got another one of uh, Del Shannon's uh, classics, Hats Off to Larry. This came off the Little Town Flirt of 1961. That's a live version. And I thought I thought I should also put in Little Town Flirt itself from that same album, a live version of that one. Now we've also got some, a pretty amazing video footage from 1989. This is live in Sydney. Um, this is the last uh, Del Shannon um, Australian tour, and this is one year before he died. So back in black, back back in black is black. I can't even say it. It's just one of those classic songs. wasn't one of Del Shannon's songs, but certainly one of those songs he brought to life. Black is black. I want my baby back. An absolutely iconic live performance of Del Shannon right there. So the links to those one, two, three, four, five, six videos are in the description below. 
And I've also included my last video from Dion, so if you want to recap on him, feel free. Well, if you've uh, come back for another one, or this is your first time, the Life Reflections through Music, thank you to everybody for hanging around and for coming back and all the rest of it. Up to 34 subscribers at the um, at the time of this um, recording, and these guys are all like, very, very significant to me indeed. So that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to American country music legend, Dolly Parton. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.